no desire for me So as if you raise your glass, you pass the test Night is still young, there ain't no stress Well, I drink to this and I drink to that Don't know why I drink and I don't mind Just grab yourself a glass, let's have a drink You raise your glass Let's have a little soul So raise your glass And let's have a little more Raise your glass Let's fill it to the top Let's see the bottoms of you Raise your glass uh, Hi, welcome to another episode of British and Me Me and Alain Robichaud Cheers! Uh, tonight, I've been like I've been there three times uh, Neck away That's what we're doing tonight Big Axe Brewery. Uh, since the harvest moon. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, Big Axe Brewery. Hellas Moon Lager. So he was asking. You know, doesn't say anything. Oh, it's a Hellas Lager. Yeah. You will find out. I will f I will definitely find out what this is. Because I've I actually never. It has. Yeah. Barley in it. Well. Yeah, <laughs> it goes around saying, right? <laughs> You'll find I, I've tried uh, one from Tire Shack. I've tried one from, uh, what is it, Happy? Hellas, Hellas, Lager, Hellas, yeah, or something like that. But anyway, the Hellas Lager, it stands at a 4.8. Uh, same ABV as their previous beer we did. Ooh. That the that was a beer queen, uh, the queen bee. Yeah, beer queen, queen bee, I should say. <laughs> yeah, queen bee. So, Hellas Lager. Oh yeah, screenshot. And three, yeah. two. Wait, my face. Three, <laughs> two, one. All right. All right, the All dog right. sniffing. I thought you've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If I keep so, drinking like this, sure. <laughs> so this is from Nakawick Big Axe Brewery. Uh, is where is the largest axe in the world? I don't know what people dare to. Maybe the biggest axe. I don't know. Uh, hey, kudos. Um, but the biggest axe. It's good. Oh, it smells nice. What do you get? Mm. Oh, that's nice. It's got a bit of a citrusy taste to it as well. Mm. Oh, this Dad. is really nice. Dad. Um, do you find it crisp? Very, actually. And refreshing. Mm. Oh, it tastes nice and light, too. Oh, I could definitely be drinking this on game night. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This is this is something you would crush. Oh, I would definitely crush. Oh yeah. They, they say a craft beer that kicks axe. They're not lying. No. That, that, that beer actually kicks axe. It's very I, good. It's really good. It goes down good. Mm-hmm. Cause what we're going to try to do is like it's fun to have two people on a show because it's different. Different opinions. There you go. Right? But so far, uh, the, the Queen Bee, we were both on the same page for that one. Came yep. pretty close. Mm -hmm. This one here is definitely part of my top 10 beers of, of that I drank so far. This is really good. Because I had this one. I'm going to show it. Because right now, this is my favorite sour. Oh. I am picky on fucking sour beer. Yeah. So far, the best one was the Cavalcade Base Lama. Okay. Raspberry sour. Mm -hmm. Then the Tropic. And it was the Sister Marie from Timbership. I like. But this one from Trailway. Spooky. Candy sour. I like the fact that it has yeah. a face hugger. I know. I was just about to say that's pretty cool. Um, pretty slick. This spooky, this spooky candy sour. It's... Um, or should I say it without naming brands? It tastes like a blue Mr. Freeze, but it on a little bit of sour yeah. taste. Almost like a Jolly Rancher Mr. Freeze. Ty type it looks thing. Like, like a, almost like a raspberry. 
No, it's a blueberry. It's a blueberry, okay. Like, like a blue, oh. blue Mr. Freeze. Like you said, like um, put on the sour taste. Mm. Just add a little sour flavor to it. And, mm. There you go. That, that's got to be good. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that is. It's my favorite now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the Harvest Moon Hellas Lager. Well, it doesn't really? say Hellas. Hey, you know what? It's bloody good. I'm telling you this much. It's nice uh, pre-Halloween beer. Oh, yeah. Honestly, it's they're doing a really good job. I have this episode comes out after Halloween, but happy, yeah. happy Halloween, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Rosh Hashanah, Happy New Year, Chinese yeah. New Year. But before all that, <laughs> before all those holidays, then we also have to do, remember the fallen. Yeah, November uh, 11th. 11th. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Remembrance Day. Oh, yeah. Thank you, soldier, for the freedoms we enjoy today. Mm, with the government today, we treat it. Oh, sorry, politics. No, 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 no politics. No politics, sorry. No, no, none whatsoever. Remember the falling. But the Hellas, would you go, would you do, would you say Hellas no or Hellas yeah? Oh, Hellas yeah. Oh, hell, oh, hell is yeah for sure. Mm. I think it's Tarshak that has that Hellas yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think that should be their their motto. Hell is yeah, we kick axe. Oh, I I, oh yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, Hell is yeah, we kick axe. Exactly, right? So. But they already have a yeah, name, Harvest Moon. Yeah. Well, it's like it's like the um, Artisan Brewing in the Camelton. Someday we'll, I'll bring you up there. Um, like, I saw a, a, a picture that somebody posted of the Sugarloaf Mum, but with, with the fog around on top. Oh. So that's like the, my my, my parents, all, well, the hill. The Sugarloaf, I saw, I saw on gas. Oh, nice. But what I said is what Artisan Brewing, or Sanfar, uh, since they're in the region, Camelton and Camelton, at the little, they should name... A hazy IPA. Oh. The Hazy Mountain IPA. That would be a good idea. Hey. That's your challenge. That, no, but. No, no, no. We're issuing that challenge. Go ahead. I know. Hazy what? Mountain IPA. Get it on. I thought that was, that would be good. I know that's that before I had more of a, more of a, like, uh, trees and stuff like that. More of a. Historic Mi'kmaq or whatever so names like that, some that I saw that they, 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 they like, like doing stuff like that. Well, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, they know the names were assumed, but they couldn't put the deal because logistics and stuff like that. Um, mm. But yeah, a mm. hazy IPA, but just hazy mountain IPA. That'd be that'd be sugar brilliant. Loaf. But it's why that is artisan that goes. Because it's Sugarloaf, yeah, Camelton, yeah. P. Almost like a local beer, like a local landmark beer, right? Yeah. And you do something like that. The Hazy Mountain mm -hmm. IP. But the Big Axe Brewery, Harvest Moon Hills. What would you say? This to me, as I said before, it, it, this is definitely one of the top beers I've drank so far. I'm so far as to give it a 9.5. Mm. To, to be honest, this is a hell is good beer. Hell is good beer. Hell is good. I honestly will go 9.52. Hey, there you go. It's nice. It goes down good. It, there's a nice crisp feeling to it, taste mm -hmm. to it. It's refreshing. You take a sip and you're like, as soon as you take a sip, it's like, whoa. Yeah, exactly. And that's that whoa. whoa. Yeah, that kick. Yeah. Well, not kick the now ABV. It, it's still a. It, it's not like a super potent beer where it punches you in the face, going, "Here's the bitterness." This is just. Yeah. It has a really nice finish. It, great it, flavor profile to it. See, like the quick quagmire way. It's giggity giggity good. It's giggity 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 good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So nine point five. Nine point five. So if you guys are into like the fall season, I think this this is more like more the fall season type yeah. beer. Um, till winter, till till it's 
Jusqu'à temps qu'il n'a plus, allez n'acheter. Yeah. So, limited time offer. Buy them when you can get them. Really great beer. Highly and, recommend it. And stock it. And stock it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next episode. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Adiamo. Uh, <laughs> ça. <laughs>